today is the beginning of garden prep. So Josh is out here right now with a neighbor's tractor. Again, we're so grateful for people letting us borrow their tractors, but um, this is where the chickens were all winter. And now the chickens are in the pasture, which obviously they love. So a whole winter's worth of manure and stuff and all of our um, uh, compost and all of that is in this space. So step one is, you know, spread it all out, plant it all out, get that manure all mixed in with a good soil. And then we have several different uh, tree trimming companies that drop off mulch here. And you can see we have lots of piles of mulch. I mean, it's far away, but we have tons of mulch. So then once this is done here, once he's done spreading all of the manure and the soil and all that compost and stuff, um, he is going to move the deep bed mulch onto this space for the back to eating garden. Um, that's the style of gardening that we do. And uh, it's just lots of uh, deep bed mulch, helps you stay on top of the weeds and all of that, and adds great uh, stuff back into the soil instead of tilling, 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 you're adding to the soil. So that's what we're doing uh, today. It's just, just stage one. <laughs> um, it's uh, the middle of April. We've had some dry days, so uh, it's a good day to do this. We're not getting stuck in the mud or anything like that. So we're trying to do this before any more rain comes. Jesse loves the show. He's helping. He's helping with all of the work. The chickens are thrilled. They're just getting to be free right now. Hold on, buddy. Yeah, lots of work. It's just the beginning of spring, which means lots of work, but um, but it's good work. So, Marie, what you doing? So he was scared. <laughs> Todd was scared. He was concerned. Keep that boy safe. how our started seeds are looking. They look great. They're growing amazing. We've had them in the front porch um, during all this time while we're waiting for the garden to be prepped. So these things, Julianne did just start some new things uh, here. So that's why there's nothing there. But anyway, these are going to be ready when the time comes. Get them in the ground. They're growing amazing and uh, should make for a real great garden this year. Our peach tree is alive. We weren't sure if it was going to make it, um, but uh, it's got buds on it. It makes me so happy. Here, down here, it split last year. Um, and, it don't, and it got a little too close to the burn cow, but it was it split down here and it healed. And it's grown together and now it's got buds on it, which is really exciting. And new shoots. This is new. So all this soil just looks amazing. There is some mulch, you know, obviously left that gets mixed in, but that's okay. So it's just, it's almost like potting soil. It is so um, soft and fluffy and nutrient dense. So once Josh is done, he's almost done flattening this out, then we need to bring over lots of piles of mulch. Thanks, buddy. Lots of piles of mulch. When it comes time to plant, we will get down to the soil. Um, before we plant and then you know put the mulch, the mulch back it keeps the weeds down there's tons of benefits to yeah it keeps the moisture in you don't have to worry about watering and all of that so um, the back to eating garden has lots of benefits and the soil looks amazing it's
it's day two of major garden prep today. We have the tractor again for some time and so we're gonna move a lot of mulch onto the garden bed that has already been prepared. So yeah, that's what we're up to today. <laughs> Trying to beat the rain and some really cold weather and just have things ready before all that comes in. Um, Cause it's, not, it's been nice, the soil's dry and all of that. So it's a better day to work, but I feel sprinkles right now. So yeah, let's get to work. All right, so the basics of a Back to Eden garden are a couple things. It's having mulch uh, from trees, uh, mostly, and then- uh, Sometimes some... people use straw too, right? Yes. Okay. And some but type of uh, manure, um, which chick manure for us comes pretty readily because we have a whole bunch of chickens. So we're able to put them in this spot throughout the winter, and there's lots of manure. So we have a uh, gentleman's agreement with some guys that do uh, wood ch uh, chipping services and they drop a bunch of mulch here, uh, ground up mulch. And that has the, it's important that we have a couple of different types of mulch and the mulch that we want is uh, green grinds. So it's not just the dead wood, but it has some green, uh, which is your carbon and your nitrogen mixture together with the, with the animal feces, um, making your compost into your garden. So the Back to Eden garden style has a lot. It's at 20 inches plus of depth of the um, the mulch and manure well and we were starting from scratch here right. so we the reason why we had to kind of pull the manure over and like almost we didn't till it but we started over kind of yeah. is because it was too dense it was too much manure in one spot so we had we, to, we to had to, it out. we didn't want to truly till it which is bringing the soil up from the bottom and kind of breaking apart the, the microbes and all those good things um, so we just kind of stirred it up with that back blade um, and so because the, ma the manure yeah. is too hot to plant your, which means you it's know, too rich, it's too, too rich. It'll kill your, <laughs> it'll yeah. kill your plants. Yeah. So we did that. We prepared this. Josh, you know, had the tractor and pulled over a bunch of fresh mulch. We need to still put down more. Yeah. And then uh, soon here, we just had snow yesterday, seriously. But soon here, we will, you know, make get down to the soil. We'll scrape it back, plant the plants in, put the mulch back on, and the mulch acts like like plants would be in in nature you know trees drop uh leaves and bark and different right. things and, and the important thing too is it's it's a lot of um, minerals and nutrients that are being brought back into the land so we're not constantly just taking the minerals and nutrients from the plants and harvesting them we're putting something back keep into on the land. putting stuff yeah. into the land so we don't want to strip it by tilling it and stripping it clean but keep on adding good stuff in yeah. so anyway and the mulch the deep mulch helps water your plants without you needing to water it captures that uh, moisture from the rain Almost like a giant sponge yeah like a giant sponge and just keeps on uh, watering your plants so you don't have to worry about watering a, ha a half acre garden or whatever this right. is you would know better than me um, but you it works by keeping it moist it also cuts down the weeds the weeds pull right out of the mulch which is really great so so far so good we really like Josie. the back to Eden uh, garden and um, yeah we're still perfecting it in this particular area uh, because this is kind of a new garden yeah, in the I, grand scheme ideally of we have uh, over the years we just add more mulch on top uh, with some manure that's broken down into it but this will become and it has become already 
um, a really a good a good place to plant. So yeah, we start off with nothing, and we'll have kind of a mess here for a while, and it'll become a good planting spot. And I'm ready for it to be warm, and we can get these plants in the ground. And maybe someday <laughs> we'll have a high tunnel up here. Soon, soon. So. <laughs>